Stomach turning site outside a South Florida restaurant ordered shut after dozens of violations were found. Plus, a picture of a dead rodent leads to a kitchen closure where three catering companies are cooking for you. Local 10 investigator Jeff Heinz here has tonight's Dirty Dining Report. This is unbelievable to me. Raw chicken outside in the Florida sun with flies on it. Cases and cases of raw chicken just sitting out back, and there is beef here as well, up against a dumpster that quite frankly stinks. The chicken and the beef sitting in a dirty drainage area, and there are plenty of people inside this kitchen who scatter when they see us. I want to talk to somebody about this chicken out here. Hey, somebody's got to bring this chicken in. Would you want to eat that chicken? No, oh, it gives are. There's flies all over it. He doesn't have anything to say. Let's put the chicken aside for a moment because we're here at Florida Hibiscus at 8344 West Oakland Park Boulevard in Sunrise because just last week they were ordered shut. An inspector found 47 violations here, ordered the doors closed. They were operating with an expired state license, a stop sale issued on pepper sauce because there was a dead roach in it. Live roaches were crawling in several spots. Close to 100 roaches were found. There were a slew of contamination and cleanliness issues. An employee points out what appears to be an owner who is hiding. The chicken okay. is the, outside. 47 violations last week. 47 violations last week. You, you won't talk to us about this. Your violations last week and then the chicken. Are you good? Are you going to serve that chicken to your customers? Are you going to serve that chicken to your customers? She claims they are not going to serve the chicken to customers, but we have no way of actually knowing. We move to Lauder Hill. We are now inside the kitchen of the old Inverary Country Club. We're told three catering companies are now using this one kitchen. Last week, Local 10 was sent this picture from someone who claims to work in the facility. Their claim it's rodent infested and dirty. And a day later, a state inspector ordered this kitchen shut. How you doing? Jeff Weins here with Local 10 News. You're preparing food and licking your fingers. Is that the way you normally prepare food? Wanted to talk to you about last week's inspection. Oh, yeah? What happened? It was uh, the facilities. It's the facility. Yes. Is this place safe to prepare food in? It is safe, yes. Among the violations found here last week, 150 plus rodent droppings found on top of and inside a dishwasher in a linen closet. There was mold in the ice machine. The inspector estimated 600 flies in the kitchen area. 600 flies, rodent issues, back doors wide open. Are there dead rodents in here? No. So who's responsible to keep this place clean? The facility. Do you ever complain to them? Um, we have, yeah, for the flies. What about the rodent issue? The rodent issue, I haven't seen any. No rodent issues? We saw this trap under some equipment. He tells us it wasn't his company cited, and state records show the violation went to catering at Chef's Table, LLC. But the catering company he works for uses the same kitchen where those violations existed. And it's one big kitchen. The owner of the company he works for claims they signed a lease somewhere else. And they're getting out of here. All the places we just mentioned were allowed to reopen following an ordered cleanup and then a reinspection. Jeff Weinseer, Local 10 News. Okay, Jeff, thanks a lot. And for a list of all of the restaurants ordered shut last week, simply scan the QR code on your screen. It will take you straight to the Dirty Dining section on our website, local10.com.